Surfers have a deep connection with the ocean. I mean, they're practically like fish. They're in the water all the time. And now, everyone's doing something to preserve this beautiful playground. I think it's good that the surf industry is finally doing something, but it's up to the individuals to, um, to make that first step. I do what I can. If I see rubbish anywhere, I pick it up, I put it in the bin, anything like that. And um, yeah, just try and do my bit. Our state parks today are under siege, um, both from budget cuts at the state level and from proposed development projects that see our state parks as the path of least resistance. The surf industry is being kind of proactive in um, trying to take some steps towards, you know, looking after the environment and the ocean and, you know, the places that we come here. And Trestle is a good example. You know, it's really well looked after and I think there's, you know, been a lot of media about the toll road and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, the surfers have really kind of been behind that and voicing their concerns over that. If there's a lot of bad stuff in the water, it's going to kill the, anything that's in there, you know. And with, with like, people littering and this and that, you know, you got to just take care of your trash. And, you know, I'm very supportive of that, you know, recycling and whatnot. And uh, just, you know, it's where I, where I am every day. I want it to be clean and not get sick. Once the ocean dies, it's, it's two-thirds of the world, you know. <laughs> And so, you know, you gotta keep the ocean clean. There's a lot of good initiatives at the moment with the Surfrider Foundation, and um, definitely we're moving forward. If you look kind of 10 years ago, there wasn't a lot of this stuff going on. If we don't stand up today and defend our state park, we could wake up tomorrow and they could be paved over or they could be closed.